Alright, so the, uh, the philosophy behind this build is, uh, Kim pushing alien build. We're, uh, we basically got all of the, all the stats that we can't buff with Kim's. We're gonna put a 10. All the ones we can't or are irrelevant, we're gonna leave low. So, charisma, intelligence, we can buff those in mid tats, leave them low. Uh, luck would need a lot of that for, uh, getting random encounters. Agility, we can buff that with Psycho, but, uh, we need a little bit of agility to run away from stuff if we get into a uh, random encounter that we want to get out of real quick. Endurance is really important. We need those for hit points and getting hit points when we level up. Uh, perception, that's good for accuracy, energy weapons, use the, using the alien blaster lockpick for breaking into the cathedral, gambling for getting caps, one-hander accuracy with alien blaster, Skilled for getting our skill points up, and we don't really care about perk rate because we don't need perks for this build because it's extremely powerful without any perks. Who needs perks when you have the Alien Blaster and Kim's extremely overpowered? They're so annoying. Alright, so this is probably the most tedious part of the uh, of the run here. We gotta, we gotta wait for RNG to bless us with the alien ship special encounter. Usually we just wander around in the desert. Now in, uh, in the original version of the game you can only get the special encounters on desert squares of the map, but in the recent patched versions, like you get off of Steam, you can get them on both uh, mountain and desert squares, apparently, if what you believe on the, uh, the wiki is correct. The wiki's wrong on a lot of stuff, like, I think it still says that outdoorsman influences your uh, special encounter frequency, but I've played this game so much, I've tested it, it has basically no perceptible effect on the the rate at which you get special encounters. It's all in luck. High luck is all that matters. We want to avoid going to this. Oh, here we go. Got caps. Don't have to worry about caps. Normally, well, actually, well, normally we need gambling to get caps, but if we get this random encounter, we don't have to worry about it. And also we want to avoid going to the squares to the southwest of the hub since they have a slight chance of spawning death claws, which is not a good enemy to face before we have the blaster. But after we get the blaster, we can just steamroll right over death claws, but we don't have it yet. Alright, that slightly improves our RNG on getting uh, the alien ship encounter on the next one. I guess 1 in 6 the first time, this will be 1 in 5 now. Death Claw. Right. Death Claws aren't really that bad, even if you're not equipped to fight them, just run away. Although my agility isn't 10, so I don't have that much running power. Usually this RNG form takes 5 to 10 minutes. I've had it take much less than that, much more. It's just a matter of uh, luck.
Oh well, we're not getting good RNG today, apparently. <sighs> I don't know what the formula is that the game uses to decide whether or not an encounter is special or not. I know it involves luck. I don't it, it must not involve outdoorsmen. I don't know if there would be any other way to cheese it or not. I've tried turning the uh oh crap, we're already at 24th of January. Oh, here we go. Alright, one in five. Crap, it's Bob. Alright, I'll grab the uh, BB gun just to sell. I've tried uh, turning the uh, frame rate, I guess you'd call it, of the game way up and way down, and it doesn't really have any effect on this. Well, it's not really the frame rate, it's, it's the uh, processing speed where it controls the speed that animations play and stuff. It affects the frame rate indirectly, but I know in Fallout Tactics, the uh, frame rate is tied directly to the, your encounter rate. So that if you're running a really high frame rate, you'll get encounters like every two seconds. RNG is terrible. It's so unpredictable. Sometimes you'll get it on within like two seconds of leaving the vault. Sometimes it takes ten minutes. Very rarely, if you're really unlucky, you'll uh, it'll take all the way until the uh, your uh, deadline for getting the water ship to find the blaster. That's really not optimal. Here we go. All right, what's well, one and four now? Yeah, here we go. One and four. Got it. Finally, only took us ten minutes. so we don't have to worry about that. I'm just gonna buy a whole bunch of drugs. A whole bunch of drugs. I like to imagine the plot of this game as a drug junkie. It's basically just a giant illusion. Like you're just dreaming of all this. Cause the way, I pl the way I'm playing just makes no sense from a normal standpoint. No reasonable person would ever play like this. <laughs> Unless they knew exactly how the game was, uh, worked. And tats and Psycho, that's all we need. Yeah, give me that money. See, quick math, that's 212. Oh, 
hopefully my recording software isn't doing the thing where it breaks up and starts putting like a fuzz over the audio. My microphone's already crappy as it is. The video is probably going to be unwatchable. Let's go buy some more drugs. I buy st Oh, alright, so here's a really neat easter egg. So normally you have to talk to Lemmy before you can get in here, or just press barter, but if you're super stupid and you only have like one intelligence, you can just be like, oh, I buy stuff, and he's like, oh, you seem okay. <laughs> the perks of being low intelligence. Drug dealers like you, apparently. Might as well buy stim packs too. Got enough money. We'll need those to uh, tank the death claws. Gotta go to the bone yard and kill death claws for experience. Level up, get some experience points. Don't need perks though. Perks are for chumps. Only losers need perks. Real chads just play without perks. <laughs> Sigma grind set playing without perks. It's a five ninety five. Alright, so I learned my lesson last time. Last time I didn't buy any stim packs and I got critted by a death claw and got killed. So this time I won't be making that mistake. I'm going to equip the stim pack so I can use it without having to open up my menu. I'm going to be a. Uh, what's the word? What's the. What's the. What's the word Fallout Entertainment Industries uses for that? Digital? Digitaling it? Or analoging it? I think it's analoging it. When you put it directly in your item slot. Alright, we're gonna wait till daytime because nighttime hurts our accuracy. Less accurate at night, less perception. Morning in this game is not during daylight hours, so I gotta wait two more. Alright, pop some drugs. Now we've got 90 DR. We have no armor. Agility 10. Oh, and uh, we're gonna analog it, or whatever. Alright, we're going to be doing some uh, max level strats here. Where is the death claw? Alright, we're going to hide behind a wall until he notices us. Notice me. Alright, fine, I'll do it myself. This, uh, this build is incredibly cheesed, if you couldn't tell already. So, uh, put some more energy weapons. Oh, and there's an interesting bug in this game. If you play, if you play and you get, you get addicted to drugs. For some reason, getting addicted to drugs, like, permanently alters your special stats, or the buffs given to your skills from special stats. And drugs. Oh fuck, I didn't even really know this shit. So it, it permanently alters your buffs, so when you start a new character, buffs will still be applied, and if they're negative, it'll start you out with, a, with lower skills. If they're positive, it'll actually start you out with higher skills, so, I mean, you, you could probably exploit that. Something I don't know if anybody I don't know if like speed runs would allow that because you're glitching the game outside of the run. I 
mean, if you did it during the run, it probably wouldn't be worth it anyway, because people speed run this game in like five minutes, just going to uh, one of the super mutants and asking to be dipped. Actually, I think, you know, truth be told, I think the master's right. I mean, people are probably going to get mad at me for saying that, but, I mean, the unity is a good idea, just say it. Resolve everybody's differences. Alright, so we're doing, uh, not really an exploit, but the Death Claws here respawn every hour if you don't destroy their eggs. So you can just farm them for XP. Just keep shooting them. As soon as you leave the vault, just kill the Death Claws. Oh fuck, I should've popped a stim pack. Forgot about that. Because if we get critted, we're probably going to die in one hit. Like he just did. Oh wait, no, we shot him before. Never mind. Alright, pop a stim pack. We got 51 hit points now. That should be pretty... Should be able to take two criticals from the death claws at 51 hit points. Also, uh, level up here. Get that accuracy. Alright, I don't want to wait for him over here. Unless he just warps behind the wall. Alright, I do not want to get double teamed here, so I'm going to try to sneak over here and engage him from right here. Got him. Alright, well, he was going to double team me anyway, but... Take care of him, won't we? 225. Alright, we don't have any extra cells for this, so... Let's see, I guess I'll do one more. What level am I at right now? Three? Well, I don't want to pull it. Maybe one more. Should I go for the Mother Death Claw? Maybe. Run behind this wall. Wait on him. We try to sneak up behind him here. Oh fuck, he's noticed me first. And what I don't want to do is run out of ammo. Shit, I got critted. That's what we don't want to happen. We pop a stim pack. Perks. Perks over chumps. Alright, so I need to prioritize here. I want to need a lockpick to get into the cathedral. I want to need 80 lockpick. So I'll probably need to kill some more death claws. Level up a little bit more. got perception 10, our sequence is 20, which means that gives us a pretty high chance of getting two turns in a row, even with Death Claws, which have, I'm pretty sure they have pretty big perceptions. Got good perception. I think that was it for there. That's it for the Death Claws on this run. Now hopefully our drugs don't wear off. I forgot how many hours Psycho lasts, but I've already waited for a couple. Alright, we're good. Running low on ammo, too. Alright, we're gonna try to get behind the wall. Didn't quite work. Didn't quite make it. Fuck, I'm gonna get double teamed if I don't kill this guy. Shit. Alright, that was a critical, but it was a very shitty critical. Alright, we got him. But now I don't have any... Let's see... I can... Let me go ahead and analog it here. 
<laughs> Wait, what? I knew I had enough to do that, but those action points. Stupid game. I hate when it does that. Alright, we got him. One shot, two, six, one. Good. One shot. Alright, we're, we're low enough on ammo, we're gonna have to buy some more. Good old gun runners. Crap, I only need to buff up my intelligence to get past this dude. See, is it worth it? How many XP do I have? Alright, I only need to kill one more death claw to level up again. Yep, might as well use my fit tats. And our psycho debuff has made it so we gotta use a fuck ton of mid tats to become a rational human being again. And I've gotten addicted. Not, not a problem. Addiction isn't that bad. I really like the Kim stack in this game. That's so great. You play the later Fallout's and they don't stack. It's stupid. It's not how re it's not how real life works. You take too many drugs, you feel their effects more, right? Small interfe cells. Probably just a couple. Crap, I don't have that much money, do I? Alright, I wanna cut back on that then. Give him some caps. I don't really well, I don't know, I might need more mid-tasks later. Let's give him some stim packs. I don't need that many stim packs. Give me some money. Take away money. See, that's 47. What? What do you mean my offer isn't good enough? You just took it. Alright, we got more ammo now. Should I do the master first or super mutants? Uh, Mariposa. Probably the master. He's a squishy slime ball. I, I don't know if I should uh, if I should use stealth to get into Mariposa this time or go for blasting with Lieutenant. That's a risky move because there's a guy there with a rocket launcher and I am. Oh fuck, the psycho is wearing off. Pop one more. We are not at. There's actually not any good way to resist explosive damage. Now we can with we had power armor. That's one good thing that power armor is good for. Power armor is generally useless unless you're going up against uh, something that isn't laser or energy because with tesla armor and two hits of psycho we got 90 what did i do to lose an action point oh shit my agility psycho off forgot about that fuck i would have to hit psycho oh we got him all right i hit another psycho too bad i didn't buy more buff out well i don't know i don't, don't want to waste it I'll just uh, pop some stim packs and try to get him uh, with only one shotting. Can't really pull it off, can we? I'm gonna have to run. Okay, my sequence procked in here. All right, we got it. Good. We should level up. Got that level up. Need to get our lock pick to 80. Uh, put the rest of the energy weapons. Kill master. We're at level five, right? Fuck off. All right, good. All right, first we gotta go get the robes from the followers, so we can sneak in.
All right, what's our total HP? 65 now, that's pretty good. Forgot what it was on my other run, where I didn't use uh, high endurance, or I had 6 endurance and 10 agility rather than 10 endurance and 6 agility. This is more efficient overall, I think. See, should I go for more death claws to get my HP up a little bit more? Yeah, I probably should, because I don't want to get ganked by the master. We'll go up one more level. Get it up to 72. I think that's what it'll be. Slow and steady wins the race, even though we're playing this way faster than it normally would be played. Alright, we're gonna have to kill an hour here. Hopefully our drugs don't wear off. Okay, good. Alright, you saw us through the windows, so that's good. Get the drop on him. Oh fuck, my fucking agility, I forgot. You know what, I don't really care. Why not? We're probably not gonna use that much psycho. How much? I should need, what, 5,000 more? Or 6,000 more? I need 3,000 more. Five thousand. The way this game levels up is progressive. It's a uh, it's a sum. Like shit. I kind of messed that up. out of uh, farming here and probably should have uh, probably should have left that load for a little bit because I only got I got 500 more XP to go before I get to the next level I think I, I can't remember Use more drugs. Usually, I don't use this many mintats. I want to need a lot of mintats for talking my way out of the uh, cathedral. So, hopefully, that goes all right. I think we get XP for doing this. Death Claw. I killed him. Yeah, that's right. I killed him. Well, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Put more point. 
hits and the energy weapons that were accurate. And now I've got 72 hit points and I got free ammo. Rounds, that should be more than we need. Take this out of here. Just to carry us over. That light says it's over. I want to get the Tesla armor. Hopefully, it will. This run's been going pretty good so far. Hopefully, I won't have. To, hopefully, I won't die and have to load a save. I haven't saved yet, but probably will once I get to the cathedral. Let all of my drugs wear off. So now I'm kind of crippled from that. Master of Disguise. This guy has more drugs, I'm just buying from him. Trade some of those extra cells that I picked up. Give me Psycho. A cheap tube. More cells upstairs anyway. Crap, I really didn't want to have to do that. Tats. Crap. Oh well. We'll have to make do with what I got. It's too much. Now this guy wants a lot for stim packs. Seventy. Should have reloaded first. See you later, alligator. Oh, I did reload. Okay, good. Shh. Fix it up, shit. All right, now here's where RNG is not going to be our friend. So I'm going to save real quick. Let's see. Are we saving a new slot? Uh, let's see, my name's Ripley, right? After uh, Ellen Ripley from Aliens. Because I'm using the Alien Blaster, right? Get it? Uh huh, funny. Is my perception screwed? Am I in withdrawal? No, I'm not. Withdrawal kind of sucks. I hate this door, it's so hard to click on it. Come on, 80 lockpick skill, you can do it. Well, now we won't have to uh, steal the badge off the dude upstairs because uh, uh, if we get caught, we have to fight off the nightkin, and that's not good. Luckily, all we have to do is grab the armor. It'll be cells in case I need to reload. Mid-tats, and once the debuff from the Psycho wore off, uh, 
that set our intelligence through the fucking roof, so we're a super genius now. Hey, you gotta love this game. Turning yourself into a super genius with the power of drugs. And you come out of the vault. Intelligence one. Super dumb. Low intelligence. Like, can't even tie your shoes. And then you uh, take a bunch of drugs and you're like fucking Einstein. Alright, so we're gonna have to steal the psychic nullifier off of these people. Actually, no, we don't have to steal it. We can just shoot them and kill them all. But, uh, I'm feeling kind of friendly. Actually, let me buff myself up first. Just in case we have to fight him. Don't need that right now. Pull that out. Do a save. I think she has the least perception, so... Come on. Okay, good. Don't have to fight him. Good RNG. Hopefully we don't get critted by the master because he, even with 72, what? Oh fuck! I, fuck! I left my gun out. Shit! Fuck! Well, I can fight this one dude. Hopefully. All right. Hopefully they won't notice. Hopefully. Okay, they all know I'm here now. Alright, this isn't gonna end well. I'm gonna have to reload. Damn it, such a simple fucking mistake. Okay, we got away with stealing again. All I had to do was click that fucking button and we wouldn't be here. That's alright, I made a mistake in my first run too. I didn't wait for the fucking mutant to move before I went into stealth. The last run. Alright, so if the master crits us here, we're gonna die instantly. Hopefully, we can avoid that. Even with uh, 72 hit points. Let's see, that might be very good. Alright, 90 normal, 90 laser, 80 plasma, but our fire and explode are basically nothing. So if we get. If we go up against the guy with a flamethrower or a rocket launcher, we're fucked. And log this. Here, get him to shoot his own iBot. So, what shall it be? Do you join the Unity or do you die here? Join, die, join, die. If you can prove to me that your Unity is the best course for humanity, then I'll help. I don't you. have to prove anything to you. Prove. Your ego demands you tell me. All villains have this strange urge to explain everything. No, I, I, I can't know you represent the best future unless you prove Very it to Very demanding me. for one in your tenuous position. But I can respect your needs. Oh, Mr. Master, I think you're in the tenuous position. The so unity will bring about the master race. Master. Master! One able to survive master. or even thrive in the wasteland. As long as there are differences, we will tear ourselves apart fighting each other. We need one race. race. Race! One goal. Goal! Goal! One people to move forward.
to our destiny. Destiny. Come crawling faster. I hope we won't end up looking like you. <laughs> your humor will not save you now. Do you accept my offer or not? Not. Accept. Not. Yeah. <laughs> Forty five. That's pretty good. Ah, shit. You killed the iBot. Alright, we got some pretty good RNG to start out with there. Holy shit, we got him in three. Jesus Christ. That is fucking gold right there. How much did we hit him for? 164. That was fucking amazing. Holy shit. I haven't gotten that good RNG in years. Not years, but couple weeks. <laughs> Alright, can we, uh, really save, obviously. That was legendary. I wanna hide. Look at that. He's got a minigun. Got iBot to help us out. Fucking 30, really? Hot fucking damn, that was good. Jesus Christ. Praise unto Todd Howard. Or actually, no, fuck Todd Howard. This isn't Todd's game. Todd Howard can fuck off. This game is much better than anything he's ever made. Our intelligence still is maxed. It's a nine now. God, I love this fucking game. I can cheese it so fucking good. Kill the master in three fucking shots. It's technically possible to get him in two, but it's like astronomically high uh, RNG odds, low odds. What the fuck you must get? Come crawling faster, obey your master. Yeah, boy. All right, let's uh look at the crater we created. I'm blowing up that giant meat sack. go kill uh, the lieutenant. No, we, oh, we got a special encounter in the city. Oh good, he gave us a stealth boy because I forgot to pick one up. Whoops. If we want to do, if we want to do the stealth approach. Now I got some super good RNG on the master. I don't know if I can get good RNG on the lieutenant. Oh, another fucking random encounter. Now the game decides to give me random encounters when I don't need them. Great. That's uh fucking RNG for you. Such a cruel mistress RNGesus is. Master, I don't know what the fuck you want to say. I'm being overly profane in this, uh, this run. I should probably stop using swear words before my video gets taken down or something. Who knows with YouTube these days. Well, but my drugs, my drug habit is coming back to bite me.
Alright, now hopefully I don't get into an encounter here. I'm probably not gonna die since I'm wearing Tesla armor, but maybe if they have a minigun and I don't. Alright, come on. Alright, good, good, good. No encounter. Alright, so I gotta decide whether or not I am going to kill the lieutenant or try to sneak in. Now it's daytime, so if I want to sneak in, I'm gonna have to wait until night. What should I do? Alright, if I need to kill the lieutenant, I'm gonna have to buff my intelligence. You know what? You know what? Fuck the lieutenant. I want to kill that bastard. Alright, I said I was going to stop swearing. I need to do that. Anyway, Mintats. Actually, I need Psycho too. I need enough Mintats to offset it. It's going to set me back quite a few. Put my gun away. I'm gonna need to. Shit, I can't analog, so I'm gonna have to. See, when he approaches me, I might have enough time to switch away. I want to bet that I do. Hey, you wanna to talk to me? Maybe not. Maybe I can't. You're, you're forcing my hand here. You, you really want me to sneak in, don't you? Shit, I need to talk to the other guy. Come to talk to your master. Well, your master is dead, but uh, Lieutenant's still alive. Oh, this is excellent. You know, I actually doubted my officers when they said they'd captured a prime normal. It is so nice to see you. Tony J has the perfect voice for this character. I'm just saying, best voice actor ever. Go to hell. Yes, you do have a way with words, don't you? And words are what we want. Before. I killed your master, you son of a bitch. Oh, how commendable. Enough foolishness. Where is your vault? Not telling. We shall see, won't we? Yeah, we'll see when you're dead. Alright, so this is going to be probably a tough fight, so I'm going to go ahead and save. Alright, we need to prioritize this dude here because he has a missile launcher. Yes, one shot. Alright, great. Now I can focus on the big bitch. Hopefully one shot him too. I think we need like 200 hit points to kill him. Alright, not a one shot. Got him 104 though. Eighty-eight. Come on. Yes. Fuck yes. Three shots. Same to kill him that I used to kill the master. Great RNG. All right. Now I need to do all this fucker before I get critted for my save. Normally I would auto blow, I could use quick saving, but I don't really like that. Alright, go five to him. Shoot him in the eyes. Shit, dude. Dying fucking bitch. Do I even need to fucking get more hit points? I lost a little bit. You never be too uh, safe, though. Uh, use that. Just impacts. I don't really need any of this. I'm about to finish the game. <laughs> if I can make it out without dying, sometimes that's kind of finicky. Alright, I don't think we've put the base on alert, which is good. We haven't. Okay, that's that's really good. Well, once I do this, well, no it's not, because I'm getting ready to fuck it all up. My science is decent, despite uh, having a base intelligence of one, because I'm hopped up on mid-tats. There we go. 
All right, third from the bottom. Gives us 300 seconds. All right, base is still not alert, so that's good. So I can sneak past all these people. I won't have to fight anyone. Might have to fight him. Might be able to get away with a uh, stealth boy, possibly. Oh shit, why are you running, you fucking idiot? Okay, well I'm gonna have to fight him. I probably should have left uh, running on uh, normal instead of always. Got him for 246, that was good. Alright, don't think we've alerted the other guards. Alright, we're gonna have to kill him to get out of here. Unless, unless I can do this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, he's probably going to notice me, because my sneak isn't that high. Shit. Kill before alert, please. Be good. are not make a break for it. Fuck yes. Still gonna have to kill the dudes outside though. Shit. Oh, that doesn't matter. I'm a fucking tank. Can't listen. Can't kill me, bitch. Yeah, I'm unstoppable. I am invincible. Kill you before you kill me. Just kidding, you can never kill me. <laughs> My build is unstoppable. You know what? I don't care. I'm gonna kill this guy too. I don't care, he doesn't see me. One shot. That is how you fucking do it. I had one little hiccup there, because uh, I'm an idiot and forgot to uh, holster my gun when I was in the but... Oh well. I mean, I didn't die. Technically, <laughs> technically I didn't die. It still counts, right? So now I get to watch the sequence broken ending. You managed to destroy the vats. Then you killed the master before he could realize his twisted plans. Never got the water With the master though, gone, his armies flee to the east in fear of retribution from the remaining normals. In Shady Sands, Tandy helps her father Aradesh bring a new community and new life out of the broken remains of the world. Get the good ending they are responsible Shady. for the new California Republic, whose ideals spread across the land. Even though we never we never even went there. Junktown becomes the new boom end. town under the careful and profitable guidance of Don Gizmo. He profits the most and continues to increase the size of his casino and the scope of his power until he chokes to death while eating some iguana on a stick. That's not even really a bad ending, honestly. The Brotherhood of Steel helps the other human outposts drive the mutant armies away with minimal loss of life on both sides of the conflict. Pretty good ending there, too. The advanced too. technology of the Brotherhood is slowly reintroduced into New California with little disruption or chaos. The Brotherhood wisely remains out of the power structure and becomes a major research and development house.
I like how they threw away that first part. The, the desert raiders pillage most of the northern parts of New California. They are a scourge that lasts for years oh, I don't know if that until a rebel army of mutants brings them down. Your involvement with the various places and people of the wasteland is well documented by future historians. Only a single question remains unanswered. What happened to you? You've got it. it. One oh yeah, you fucking idiot. So throwing me out of the wall. What you endured. Yeah, I killed both bosses in three shots. There's no, no way, way people of all can ever thank, thank you enough for what you've done. done. You've so saved, saved all our lives. lives. Who oh, knows? No. Maybe even say a human race. Yeah, it makes the rest of this even harder. It's times like these that I really, Everyone really makes me wish I had taken the bloody best train and man like you. And then what? what? They'll want to leave. What happens to the vault we lose the best of a generation? What if we found out the only safe place in the world? world. You, you just gave, gave us back, back all these lives. lives. I, I can't have it take a chance of losing them. You know what? I think he actually makes the right choice because in doing this, he sets off the events of Fallout 2. If he had just welcomed us back into the vault, we would all just get killed by the Enclave. Well, then again, the Enclave <laughs> is uh, based in Redfield, as it were, but, uh. Yeah, you know. I don't know the tough decisions since I took this position. None of them are harder than this one. You saved us, but you will kill us. us. I'm, I'm sorry. You're a hero, and you have to leave. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I clicked it fast enough. Fuck yeah! Ha! <laughs> eat that, eat shit, old man. 204. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Alright, this, this this song is uh, copyright claim. My last video got claimed because of it, so. Uh, la 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 la. You can't hear any. La 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 la. Video ends here. La 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 la.